Good afternoon, sports fans. We are just making ourselves another little coffee here because I want to sail through the night creating some music. I've got some music on the way. Um, there we're doing a little sketty bolognese over there. I know it's all too thick, but I can't be bothered chopping anymore. Now, <laughs> we're boiling out the water. Something I want to show why I choose the, what is it? Tin there, the cake tin. All right. Now, underneath, right, I've got the cutting board. Plastic insulation for the bottom of the tent. Right, I've got the fry pan and uh, sitting on the fry pan, so there's extra layer there. And then I have released the cake tin, and now it's sitting on top of the fry pan, so it's halfway up the cake tin. And then I close it again. You see, there's a there's a, my hook for the fishing line screwed into the uh, board. And, and then on that, that, that holds it back from slipping off the uh, cutting board. And I've tied it around the front through the arc of the cutting board. So it's pretty stably on there. And then I put the screen over top. So it's not too bad. And you see my little self made beer can going there? The, these things burn just as long as them um, professional ones, but they burn uh, hotter. You would think shorter, but yeah, I don't know. Those, them other ones don't burn like that because aluminium heats up quick and it vaporizes the methylated spirits quicker. But I'm very sure it's more efficient than those ones you buy out of the store. I'm very sure of that. And look, you can see it's already doing the water for me. That'll be boiling soon. I put the alum in the water. In the main water supply but for some reason when the water heats you get an extra effect I don't know whether it's taking the phosphorus and the nitrogens out of the water from the fertilizers from the properties could be or just a uh, chemical process speeds up under heat but it's like a second you think it, you think it's water is nice and clear and then you heat it you get this second effect of contaminates that are in the water you don't even think it's there and I tell you what I do the water like this and drink it if I go into an apartment and stay there three days, I notice my urine goes bright orange. And living here like this, it stays nice, light straw color. Like a nice light, sort of like a um, lighter than a sunflower oil color. So, you know, I have my suspicions about that water we're drinking in town water we're drinking. I don't think it's entirely good for us. And a lot of people tell me I don't drink that stuff. And I fully agree with them. I don't believe it's good because, you know what I mean? I don't think it's good. I feel far healthier drinking this stuff after I process it myself than drinking that town water. And that stuff on top I won't drink. They'll settle down on the bottom anyway. And I just pour it direct out through the top. And it's very clear. And my whole body process, is I feel alive. I feel young. I feel really young. Where When I'm drinking that town water, I tell you what, I start to feel like I'm dying. I really do. Anyway, that's my little system, and I'm very pleased and very happy about it.